Hi all, welcome to another RPA tutorial video. Today in this tutorial video, we are going to understand about if else statement in automation 360. So I am going to show you with very basic examples where we can use if, where we can use else if this conditional statement in our real time code. So we will understand these things. So this tutorial will be very helpful for those who are very new to the programming or who they do not have any coding experience. So I'm going to use very um, basic and simple example to understand use of this if else statement. Before start, in case if you are visiting this channel for the first time, I would request you to kindly subscribe this channel and support us so we can create more and more RP tutorials for you people. Okay. Now we have also started um, creating a blog based on RPA automation anywhere okay so we have uploaded uh, uh, many uh, blogs related with the rpa interview questions so you can see here i will share this link in the video description section so if you want to know more about rpa you can refer to our blog section and also you can put your comment so you can refer to this so we have added so many informations here so kindly go here and visit our blog page Okay, so now let me go to the automation anywhere and see what are the options available under if package. So here I am in automation 360 community editions. I'm just going to write here if once you write here if so you can see the if uh, package is available here. So inside if package we can see if else if and else. So these three um, statement we can use so this if package is very very important for any of the rpa development so if you have not a good understanding of where and how to use this if else and uh, else statement in your code then your code might not be the correct or it might fail when you run your code okay so you must know how and when you have to use this statement so I, i'll try to make you understand with very um, basic examples as i said let's see so before start i'm just putting a step so here i'm just putting if statement Let's understand now what is if statement and when we can use the if statement. So we can use if statement when we want to test a condition. Okay. So let's say you have, you want to test a particular condition. Okay. Whether that is true or not. So we can use this if statement. So basically if can be used with a single condition. So I'm just keeping this disable. And here in this block, we will try. So in order to understand this if statement, I'm going to use very simple example of putting your credential into a particular application. So let's say when you want to open your mobile, you have to put a credential, right? So some people are putting a four digit or five digit code or some people are putting their biometrics, right? So similarly, so whenever you are putting something, it is going to check once it will match, it will allow you to enter, right? So it goes to the other applications also. So let's say you want to log into your banking portal. So there also you have to put a, a username and the password. Once it will match, then it will enter, allow you to enter inside the application. So let's understand this. I'm just going here. Okay, I'm first creating a variable. Let's put a variable name as string. Okay. User password. Okay. And here. 
so this password will be given by the user so in order to get information from user in automation 360 you can get it from two ways one is you can use the prompt okay or you can use variable and you, there you can define your variable type as input okay so we'll see both the examples in this case we are going to use this prompt okay so here we will go with the prompt for value so i'm keeping here and i'll put a window name is uh, user input okay and here let's put prompt messages enter your password okay and now we will assign this into the user password so once user will put the password it will store into this string variable all right now we'll use the if so i'm going here i will just drag the if here and here in if block you can see there are so many conditions available so you can see window exist application running boolean data table so these are the predefined conditions which is available here so based on your requirement you can use so in this particular demo we will understand how we can use a conditions um you can say the it's not a predefined conditions the user can like you know put their own conditions and you can um uh, check using this if statement so in order to do that we have string and number conditions okay so for this demo we will use the string and number both the conditions to understand it so i'm just going here and putting this string condition so here you can see you have to put the information like source value and the operator and the target value so our source value would be the value which we are getting from the user so i will just select this user password and it will be equals to what so let's say i'm putting a password at test123 so this is the password which is available in my system okay now once user will put it will test okay so let's put a message box i'm putting this message box in this block okay so once the user password and the password which is available here in target value will match then it will show a message box logged in successfully okay so when you use if there will be only one condition okay so if your password will not match then it will not display anything okay so let's understand little uh, uh, different way okay so if your password will not match okay it will not display anything in order to understand i am just keeping another message box outside my if block okay and here i will put a message box end of the program okay and now let's run this and understand then i'll explain you okay so now as we have used the prompt so it is asking for the user value right so enter your password so i am just putting a password as test at the rate 123 once you click okay it will move on to the next step so here we can see logged in successfully because the password which i have given is matching with the password which is available there so after um, the message box was saying logged in successfully it is moving out from that e block and the message box which is available in line number 5 is saying end of the program okay now let's see when i am putting a wrong password how it behaves okay so now here i am just putting test 1 2 3 4 5 which is not matching so you can see here it did not go to the e block right it directly come to message box which is 5 right because the condition which 
we are looking for is not matching it false okay so that is the reason it has not moved to the a block so similarly if we have a requirement in your code you can create this block inside this block if you want to perform any action based on this condition okay you can perform it yeah it's depending on you what operator you are uh, using okay so based on your operator choice it will work all right so now we will understand how we can use if and else together so let me disable this action now we'll go with this if else if else statement is used to execute two statement either if statement or else statement for a single condition okay so in order to understand where we can use if else statement i am using a very simple example to decide whether a particular person is eligible for vote or not based on the given age so we will understand that okay so now just creating a variable and this time we are going to create a variable as input use as input so it will ask to put the information okay so and this will be number here i will put as age once again i'll go to the if package and i will just drag here if okay now i am putting else also so you can see here there are two block if and the else so you can put only conditions inside your if else you will not get anything to put it okay so now let's see how we can put that so here as age is a number variable so we will go with the number condition you can see here i am just selecting this number condition and the source value source value would be the age which is provided by the user and i will put here greater than or equals to 18 okay if the age is greater than or equals to 18 then it means the user or the person who is giving here the age is eligible for vote now let's put a message box just copying this okay now the same message box we will keep here in the else block and here we will put not eligible for vote okay once we run this code it will ask us to put the age then it will look for this two statement now let me quickly run this and we'll understand so here you can see as i have selected the variable type as input so it is asking to put the age value so i'm just selecting here as 18 now see okay so here it is saying eligible for board once again i am running and see how it is going to the else block so in case if i put a number lesser than 18 so it will directly go to the else section you can see here message box which is present in line number 10 it's saying not eligible for vote so basically using if else together you can uh, perform this type of uh, conditional check okay so you can use if and else together to perform this type of uh, checks in in your code if you want to perform it okay so we understood this if statement we can use for single condition okay and if else we can use for a single conditions where we can see it will uh, show you the informations either in a block or in the else block okay so either there will be one thing only either it will go to the if block or it will go to the else block so whenever conditions meet it will uh, 
go to this block which is inside your a block if not then automatically it will go to your else block now we will understand else if so how we can use the else if condition or statement okay with one of the example so first understand what is else if so else if statement can be used when we have multiple conditions to test okay so here we have seen single conditions now we are going to see in case when we have a multiple conditions so how we can use so in our real time code also when we do the development we have to interact with so many uh, uh, we have to work with so many business rules and in order to handle those business rules we have to use this if statement right so now we will understand how we can use these things so here in this code we will see if else if and else these three things we are going to use so in order to understand these three things with very simple example i am going to use a appraisal rating uh, system okay so we will see how we can decide whether the person is going to get a band a b c or d so let's do that first i'm just putting this if here okay now i am just going to create another variable and where we can ask user to put the rating okay now i'm just creating a variable as number i'm putting as rating and we will take it from the user again here we'll go with the number condition and let's put that rating variable here okay so for this example we are going to use maximum uh, rating value as 5 and minimum will be 1 okay so here in case if anybody got rating as 5 then i want to keep a message box and display a information the person is eligible for a band okay so i'm just putting okay okay so there will be other condition also in case if some people gets their rating greater than 4 and less than 5 okay then they will get banned as b if people get their banding greater than 3 and less than 4 then system will allocate them a band as c and after that we'll go with the else if it is less than 3 then it will by default give the band d now we'll put here else if so i'm just putting here okay now you can see here lc block is there and inside your lc block it is again asking you to put the condition so we'll go and select the number condition and the variable will be rating and here this time we will put greater than or equals to 4 and less than 5 so i have to add another condition so there will be two things first condition will be it will be greater than or equals to 4 and less than 5 so i will put another con number condition here okay so if this condition match then person is eligible for band b now put another else if again i will select number condition greater than 3 and less than 
okay so we have added this condition also now let me put a message box here and i will just change this to c now as we have covered all three conditions now the last condition is if it is less than three then by default a person is eligible for band d so i will directly put a else so here no need to put else if so by default it will go to the else block when these three conditions not match and i will just put a message box here you are eligible for d now once we run this it will ask for user input so now let's see and check this all the condition so i don't want this i will go with this one first i'm just putting a band as 5 rating as 5 and see in which block it is going okay so as we have given the 5 it is showing as you are eligible for band a now let's rerun this and try with other conditions so here i'm just putting as 4.5 and see how it is working now see it, it is now going to the b band so similarly if i put something like 2 let's say 2.5 it will directly go to the else block where person is eligible for d okay so we can see here it the message box is saying you are eligible for band d so by this way we can create logic okay or a condition where you can work with this type of requirement so only thing is you have to be smart enough to understand in which block what you have to put the only thing is you have to understand your requirement and based on this um, conditional statement you can put your rest of the code to perform the required action so now let me enable everything to have a quick look okay so first we have understood with the example of if statement by using the password example and second we understood if and else how we can use together with the help of a vote example and the third one where we have used if else if and else with the rating uh, example so i hope uh, i am able to explain you about the use of if else and else in our code with very basic and simple examples in case if you have any question you can kindly mail us or you can put into the comment section also so we'll be happy to help you so once again thank you so much for your help and support keep learning thank you